Hello everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. I'm Rohit and this is the day 17 of the service portal training. In this day, we'll basically talk about that Clyde SP script table. So in this class, we'll talk about the Clyde SP script table API. So Clyde SP script table API is nothing but the dollar SP we already used in many other places, but we are going to discuss further more on that uh, topic. So before we go to that, if you remember then last time we created a uh, widget called broadcast page and in this broadcast we have two widgets. So left side widget and right side widget. Um, there are various questions I came, uh, I got that, that when somebody click that it is not going to uh, the next page. Secondly, um, I'm not able to see that the, the uh, of the incident state so what all field we need to show or uh, that we can control so that i am not able to see and secondly when i'm clicking that it is filtering on and based on that but i'm not seeing the state field here and then i'm clicking that it is not redirecting so these things will solve first and then we'll talk about that Clyde. uh i mean glide sp scriptable object so without wasting time let's get started So very first thing if you see that this page if i right click here and then um click show widget customization so we have we are going to call this widget uh through the script of this widget right so this widget the parent widget name is the broadcast to and then this is the child widget that is called um data table if you see uh, the child uh, widget name is a data table let me go back to this uh, left navigation and under this we need to find out that widget that we are calling and see that what options that is received able to receive that so if i open that the data table um, api uh, i mean this widget and this widget if i scroll down you can see that we have a various um, fields and options that are available you can see that so inside that you can see there are uh, fields and um, you know um, options are available now if i scroll down there is a demo data how we can pass the data that is defined here and if you remember that last time we are passing that table equal to incident and we are passing the filter as encoded query we can pass many more things like view on which view we want to see we can define that order by on descending or ascending and then uh, fields what all fields we want to see that I'll copy this parameter called fields and then I'll pass these fields here so that we can check that. So I'll go to the edit module first. I'll edit the widget and then widget you can see that this is the server side script where we are passing the parameter. So I'll put that one more parameter called fields here. and then what all fields we are expecting we need to define that so let's say that i'm going to expect a number first then state then short underscore description so these are the fields i am looking for and then anything else uh nothing more than that so let's save that so i just need to see the three fields so i just save that the same options um I need to copy that and then under the client script also I need to pass the same um, parameter so I'll paste here also now let's save that and refresh that so if we refresh that you can see right now I am seeing the number state and short description these three fields I'm seeing now let's click that uh, in progress and you can see all this in progress state uh, incident is showing now if you click the closed all these closed or i mean basically we put the state equal to six so i think this six is means on hold you can change to the three and then we can work on that so this way we can modify our i mean we put the three so three is all about the hold so we we need to update that state value so this is how we can actually um, uh, update or pass the parameter and based on that uh, it can show this particular fields whatever fields we are looking for now once we click that it is not opening that particular page now if we go back or if i go back to this widget there is a one uh, field or you can see under the field we have a speed page this page 
but this page is actually it's not available or this that is not actually uh, working here so when i was going through this code uh, what i see that under this go function this go function is nothing but when we click that what will be happen once we click that this go function will be uh, called and under this go function you can see that there is a one option called scope dot emit and then here it is passing the event name dot click so event name is nothing but a variable and then dot click is nothing but this one so basically when i am clicking that uh, you know um, this row it is uh, doing that scope dot emit with the particular parameter now we already discussed about our last video that broadcast and emits used to broadcasting some or doing some root scoping variable so what we can do basically we can uh, listen that variable and using the listening that um, uh, event we can actually check that this row is clicked or not for that what we have to do we are already doing this one in in this case here uh, to uh, receiving that uh, root scope variable right so what we can do we can declare one more uh, here and then in this case uh, the um, the global variable name is they are using called uh, events dot click is nothing but this variable so we'll copy this one and paste here and we'll just do a alert and then i uh, will do this data one and check that we are receiving that or whenever whenever we are clicking that it is actually working or not so let's um let's refresh our page and when i am clicking that i you can see that i am getting an alert with the object so we need to do that json.stringify to uh, get that so for that what we'll do i'll put that json and dot stringify here i'll put the date now if i save that and um if we go back here and then refresh this one and click here you can see uh whatever a uh, number so we click that 204 right so you can see this 204 incident details i am receiving and then here i'm clicking the 201 it is receiving now here we are getting uh, two important thing one is the table and another is the table name and then sys id and then there are many other so we need to collect the table name and sys id so what i'll do from here i uh, say that var table equal to data dot table and var id equal to data dot sys id so these two information i need that and I'll put that alert and see that these are the information I am getting or not. So table and then sys id. Let's save that and then um, let's click that. You can see I'm getting the table name and then sys id. So what I have to do, um, what I'm trying to do, I am going to redirect them to a particular page. So let's do that so what i'll do window dot location dot href equal to here i'll say that uh, id equal to um form so i'm going to redirect them to the form and then table equal to table plus c underscore id equal to id so what i'm trying to do that i'm trying to redirect them to the particular page so let's save that and refresh our page one more time and once we click that you can see uh, i'm going to the particular page but here i am seeing that not uh, record not found right because here i should put the table equal to table equal to the table name let's go back to our page 
and click one of this particular incident and see I am getting that um, record or not so I, I can read the record right now so this is how our um, broadcasting is working now today we'll, um, so this is all about that fixing the previous sessions now today we'll talk about that uh, glide sp scriptable api so why i came to this all this detail i'll come to in bit uh, quickly so uh, so if you see here um, on the top right now i guess that url is visible to everyone and once i click that I am going to that particular uh, ID called form and then table equal to incident and then I'm, um, you know, I'm putting the CS ID and then uh, this is the CS ID, right? So this is how it is working. So I should probably put the CS ID equal to, okay? So it is particular uh, putting the CS ID. Now, using that Glide uh, SP, uh, we can do a lot of functionality. So we'll talk that uh, first. So what what all thing we can do that so we'll talk about that one by one so first thing first is the very important that using that dollar sp dot get parameter so we have a dollar sp dot get parameter using that we can directly render to a particular uh, parameter value from the url so let's understand that one for that i'm what i'm doing i'm going to create a new pages and then new widget probably so i'll go to this um, uh, here portal configuration and I'm going to create a, a new widget called form custom. And I'm going to create a page called form custom page. And let's submit that. So right now I, I have this form. Let's say that hi. And I'll just save that. Now instead of this form page, I'm going to redirect them, them the form custom page. Okay. So let's understand one more time that so I have a page called broadcast under this broadcast when I am clicking that uh, we just fix that once we click that it should redirect to a particular uh, page called form custom and then using the form custom uh, we are passing two parameter called table and then CSI. Now we'll talk about that sp dollar sp dot uh, scriptable API using that how we can render particular form. So right now in, in this form custom, we can pass any table name and any CS ID. We should render our form. For that, what I'll do, I'll click here and then click edit widget so that I can start editing. First thing we need to render the table name and we need to render the CS ID. For that, what I'll do under this server side script, we can put that, uh, let's say that I'm putting the data dot table. And here, what I'll do, I'll put the dollar dot sp and then click that. There are many options are available, and each options have a different different functionality. I'm not going to deep dive all this functionality, but whatever is that uh, important or maybe useful and frequently used, those function I'm going to use that. So first thing I'm going to use that get parameter this uh, function, and using this function, what can help us? it can render uh, that particular parameter from the URL. So in this case, the parameter name is table and then CS ID using that we can get that uh, table name here and then we can get the CS ID. So I'll put the table.id equal to $sp.getParameter parameter and then here I'll put the CS underscore ID now in this way we can particular query to the particular table let's query to that and then show the number so i'll do that where gr equal to new glide record so this way we can query to that particular table and we'll say that data dot table and here i'll put that if gr dot get and here we should put the data dot id and once we get that we are binding the data dot number equal to gr dot get value call number. Okay, so this is a small thing I am doing here. Uh, so let's do that call data dot number. Just save that. Now, if we refresh that, it should give me that incident number that from where I landed. So if I go back to the broadcast and then click that particular incident call 
1001 and based on this dollar sp it should render to the cid and then table name query to the particular table and just representing the two number so this is the one uh, one thing next thing i am going to discuss about the dollar sp dot get value so this is one more uh, uh, important factor or one more important uh, api that use the get value and then get values so what does it mean by the get value and get values so get value and then uh, you help us to render particular value from the sp instance or sp portal so what does it mean by sp instance or sp portal go back to this particular page okay form custom page i'll go to this page here and if i open that page you can see that this page have a um, row column and then instance right so as we earlier at the beginning of the class we discussed about that instance hold the widget and if any value inside this instance mentioned that can be rendered from that uh, dollar is p dot get value let's say that this instance have a holding this widget right so let's say that i'm going to put that title so let's say that i'm pointing pointing to the title call um you know demo title something like that and save that right now i can render this value from the instance so for to render that what i'll do i'll copy this field name called title and then here i'll simply write that um dot get value and then here i'll put the title and then here what will do the data dot title and this title can be minded here so let's say that i'm pointing to the h3 and save that so whatever sp instance value is there will be binded here and then show that the demo dot title similarly not only that sp instance we can render that from the particular portal so we are right now are rendering that default portal and inside the portal whatever fields we have we can directly fetch any of this portal value so we can we can fetch the portal title portal url suffix home page any of this parameter we can directly fetch that so this is uh, one way we can use the dollar dot um, you know get value or the dollar dot get parameter so in this way i'll just show you that quickly that what other options are available so let's say that can read record so you can see that there are many uh, many way the gr dot can read can write we can similarly use the can read record options available dot dollar sp then similarly we can get that particular catalog item so we can pass the catalog item c side and then we can get the catalog item complete details and we can utilize that so you can you know you can go to these each and every option and the right side they are um they they have mentioned that of what it does and then you can based on that you can do or you can use that i'm just giving you the heads up that what is used or how it can be used okay so if you have any question let me know in the comment sections but yeah so this is the huge parameter or huge options available try to explore uh, one after another and if you have any question let me know in the comment section thank you very much have a great day.